Hello mga kaniglisera at mga kaniglisera. Welcome back to another learning session with me, Ma'am Cha. So for today's session, you will be learning about palindrome. What is a palindrome? A palindrome is a word, phrase, number, or sequence of words that reads the same backward as forward. Meaning, when you read the word from left to right or right to left, it's the same. Walang magbabago kahit paano mo siya basahin. Kahit na pag ganito or pag ganyan. Pareho lang siya. That is palindrome. So I have here examples of single word palindromes. The first one is Anna. So it can be a name. So other examples ay Bob and Hannah. Iba pa mga examples natin dito ay Civic, Kayak, Level, Madam, Mom, Noon, Race Car, Radar, Redder, Refer, Repaper, Rotator, Stats, Tenet, Toot, Eve, and Peep. So, mapapansin ninyo, kahit basahin mo siya ng left to right, like yung usual natin ginagawang pagbabasa, or right to left, hindi siya nagbabago. Same pa din siya. So, ang palindrome can be single word or pwede naman ding multiple word. So, ito yung mga examples natin. The first one is, don't nod. So, pag binasa mo siya ng paganyan, don't nod. And then, pag, pag ganito, don't nod pa din. So, hindi nagbabago. Other examples are, I did, did I? So, same pa din yan. Kahit itry mo, dali try mo. Next, my gym. Red drum, sir, is murder. Step on no pets. Top spot. Was it a cat I saw? Eva, can I see bees in a cave? No lemon, no melon. So lahat ng yan ay multiple word palindromes. Basahin mo man siya na pag ganito, or pag ganyan, pareho lang. Hindi siya magbabago. Left to right, right to left, it's still the same. So, di ba napakadali lang? I have here a fun fact. The longest single word palindrome in the English language, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, is the onomatopoeic tataratat. So, ang tataratat, ibig sabihin niyan is knock on the door. So, basahin mo man siya ng left to right or right to left, pareho lang. Hindi siya magbabago. It's still tataratat. Let us now proceed to the fun part, the brain gym. So let me read the directions. Write a palindrome for each clue. So lahat yan may mga clues. And then you have to discover kung ano yung palindrome na describe niya. So let us have number one. A baby wears this when eating. Ano kaya yun? Sinusuot pag kumakain. Next. Another name for father. Number three, it happens to bubbles. Ano ba nangyayari sa mga bubbles? Four, another way of saying midday or 12 in the afternoon. Five, a short word for sister. Six, you see with it. And seven, you often say this when you are amazed. So you may start now. As a take note, your answer should be a palindrome. From left to right or right to left, hindi siya magbabago. Same pa din yung basa. So, base lang sa mga clues na yan, ano kaya yung palindrome na hinahanap.
take your time answering the activity. I'm just gonna wait here. Okay, let's check your answers. For number one, the answer is bib. So from left to right, right to left, bib yan. Yung sinusot ng mga babies pag kumakain. Next, number two is dad. So ganun, ganun, same. Next, number three is pop. Ano ba nangyayari sa mga bubbles? Hindi like pop up. Number four, noon. Number five, sis. Number six, I. And number seven, wow. Wow! Energy. So, yan yung sagot sa ating brain gym. So, ano kaya ang yung mga score na like ko naman tinatanong at the end of each activity? Hoping na nakuha nyo lahat ng tamang sagot. Okay. So, again, a palindrome is a word that reads the same forward as backward. Wala lang nagbabago kahit nabasahin mo siya from left to right or right to left. Ganun lang kasimple. So, ang palindrome, pwedeng single word, pwede rin siyang multiple words. Yun lang yung kailangan yung tandaan. O, diba, napakadali lang ng lesson ngayon. Medyo, madali lang para sa ngayon. At sa susunod natin, padudugay ng mga isip. Charot lang. <laughs> okay. So, I hope I may discover kayo yung bago ngayon sa ating lesson. Kasi, diba, Use na tayo doon sa pag-aaral ng English grammar, ng mga stories, ayan. Pero yung palindrome, part pa din siya ng English. So at least ngayon, alam nyo na, na ah, okay, meron palang tinatawag na palindrome at alam mo na kung ano ibig sabihin nun. Kung meron kayo mga topic na gusto ninyo i-discuss ko, basta all about English, just comment down below. Basta all about English lang tayo, ha. Hindi ko na-carry kapag gama. Hindi na ako yung tawang tao para dyan. So basta... All about English, basta kaya, ay isashare ko sa inyo. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!